M0 FXB. Yeah, so finally got this ICOM 705 working with the RSBA1 software. So if you look on the left, there's the radio. And you can hear that there's uh, audio coming from the radio there. Now look on the computer. If you look at the RS software, look, the frequencies there, we can control you know the mode we've got the signal meter coming in there we can control the tuner the tune you know all these functions here on the left um, all the bands here filters I've only just turned this on so uh, it's all fully working um, it's all your connect and disconnect there's lots more to discover on this but um, it's very good I, I'll put a link in where I got it from because it cost me a, a, around 30 pound and the, these are normally like a hundred pound this software and I can use it on my ICOM 7300 as well now there is um, a video to to um, install all this which I shall add um, and at the moment as you see I just want you to notice that if you look here I'm, it says radio list on the left and that's the radio that's connected now now you can add more radios in this list so right now it's the 705 but what you've got to remember is that when you when you configure it that you configure the server separate now this is what threw me because I've been here for ages trying to configure just one thing but no you do the server first yeah and then you fire up the um, this one here let's just get it right uh, with the sort of red and black square and then you so you fire up and you configure that first and then it's called the icon remote utility yeah and then you fire up the rsba1 remote control to actually control the radio so that's what threw me so i'll just show you what the server settings are if you look at the radio it actually says at the top uh, if you look at the radio let's just make sure you can see the radio um, <coughs> i'll just minimize this a minute to make sure you can see the radio because uh, it is quite important. Let's have a quick look here. No, I can't see that. So, well, we'll have a look in a sec. But if you look at the radio, I put my finger there. Um, it says wireless LAN, and we've got the Wi-Fi showing, and and that's the key thing there. It needs to say wireless WLAN. Um, and then the settings. If I go, just just one sec. menu set go to wireless LAN and then the connection station we're, we're actually the connection type that worked for me I'm not saying it's the only way is connection type is station and then when you select that notice that the wireless line is on when you select that um, station you, you, you could have connected access point now, I couldn't get that working so for now we're, I've connected it to station connect to network now then to configure that see that's you you choose it here to select it then you go back and then you go you go underneath it connection type station and then connection settings station is where you actually set it up so tap it and then there's the IP address which appears when you tap it, so it's 192, it found it on its own. So that's the address you need when you connect um, the radio. Now, there's a lot more to this, but this is just the part I wanted you to see when it was working. So let's just go back to that window, which is the pretty much the setup window. So if you look at the server, you... Um, And you can see I've literally just done this. So when I when I wanted to connect, um, the only way I can show you this is if I go backwards. So if I um, disconnect here, I don't really want to do this, but and then uh, properties, you can see what I've put in. I've put in the server address which is the network name, which is the IP address I just showed you. The port is by default. The user and ID you actually set, set up in the settings. So the user ID, if you look here, go to LAN, go to remote settings, 
go to network user and then see you've got the use the network user uh, ID at the top there put that in you can change that and then the network user password put that in and that's your user and ID and that's it really then you just go ahead watch my other videos and uh, you'll see it working now let's see if we can just get it to connect again click connect very busy here at home as usual and then you connect connect here well look the server's connected straight away and then click I might have to give it a couple of goes connected so you've got a separate connection for the radio and the server so the server's connected go to the radio and click connect and yeah you do got to faff around with it a bit you know sometimes it doesn't connect straight away um, but it, it, it will it will and let's just click keep trying it and so 73 and um, hope this this is fun for you look at the other videos as well and see how you get on so it looks like the servers the radio is now connected now that's disconnect and that's connect so there you go I hear it clicking away I'll just turn it up so you can have a listen I'll just use the radio to change some bands. So you can see I'm just going up and down the bands there. Tuner there. Well, we haven't got a tuner. AGC changing. Preamp changing as well. I can see it changing on the radio. Noise reduction. Noise blanker. RF power. It's all working. So yeah, for not a lot of money, you get quite. I think you get quite a lot. So seven three, all the best.